for Utah's most accurate forecast with Caesar Corneo, weather rate certified 10 years in a row. Five feet. I know, right? That's I don't know. I, I even said, do we need to double check this? That's a lot of snow. It's but a that's lot of snow, says. but we're expected to get that much snow as well. So that st same storm system will produce for us in the higher elevations. And you know what? That's great. We want to see that. It'll help clear out this inversion that still hangs around here in Salt Lake City. And we see it in a lot of areas in northern Utah across the Wasatch Front. And that's really why we have this terrible air quality. Before this next system starts to move in, we'll start to see winds picking up and even some wet weather for a few spotty areas in eastern Nevada, northern Utah, and southern Idaho. But then we see that it fills in for a lot more of us and we start to have that winter storm watch go into effect and I'll have the details on that in just a moment. Continuing to see below average temperatures so far right now. Just thanks to that very, very strong inversion, temperatures well into the 20s now as we have all of that sunshine gone and we start to lose our heat. We're even seeing 30s and even low 40s in southern Utah. So again, we're all expecting to cool down. And as we continue with this clear condition, stable air, that's thanks to this high pressure system, we're expecting to see this inversion last for us. But that's not going to last for long, luckily. We do expect another day of poor air quality tomorrow for northern Utah also parts of going towards central Utah and the Uinta Basin. But before, after that, we'll see that this storm system will bring in some much-needed change in our winds and actually also finally break that nice little inversion that we have going on. So right now we do have this winter storm watch that will start at Thursday morning, continue until Friday. So we are expecting to see quite a good amount of snow for the heavier, for the higher elevations. And as we continue today, it'll be calm tomorrow. That's where we start to see a little bit of that activity making its way in. And then going into Thursday, that's where it really starts to fill in for us, seeing some rain for most of the valley locations, snow up in the higher elevations as well. So as we look at our regional forecast, we are expecting to see that we we have a few areas that will be a little bit colder again for the next few days. Also expecting to see some wet conditions. So if you're looking to travel, you're definitely going to want to do that earlier in the week than later. As we have that cloud cover still increasing for us. We are expecting to stay a little bit warmer as well. We look at our St. George's seven-day forecast. We do expect to see the temperatures hang around the 50s for the next few days. Also, that same system will bring some rain showers by Friday and linger throughout the weekend as we see some wet weather for our Christmas. And for the Wasatch Front, we are expecting to have that hazy sky continue tomorrow, a little bit warmer by Thursday, and we start to get that mixing precipitation going in snow showers by Friday and then even a chance of some snow on Christmas Day.